jul lite. Men det är som himla speciell kultur i USA. Oh, she noticed what phone means. Oh wait, I want to get video too. So the group of six of us plus uh, butterfly kids has caught up. And uh, there's a big old storm. And uh, we're going to uh, avoid that by hashtag double zero. This is not good for our mileage average. Um, it is good for our feet. We're gonna go try to find a place to hide from the rain when it as it rolls in. And we're watching lightning hit the mountain, so we'd like to not be caught in a sudden forest fire. Everything's super dry, um, but more importantly, I don't know how much rain is falling. Or if it's well, now it's definitely reaching the ground. I can see that it's gray over there. The mountains are graying out as the rain is falling. But we don't want to be stuck in that as we're trying to get a ride out to the trail right now and uh, it doesn't look like any fun so oh yeah you can see pretty good now Ooh. big old lightning strike anyway completely unnecessary double zero but it's gonna feel good gives me a chance to throw more calories in my body and uh we avoid getting wet if we don't have to, so that's a plus. Also, I'm caught up on videos, except for my couple little snips from yesterday and what we do today. We're heading to fifth season uh, gear shop so that we can basically store our packs, uh, keep them dry, and they have a really nice awning that we can hang out under while it pours on us. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the update for the moment. Oh, yeah, and Butterfly Kiss is caught up, so he'll be hiking out with us tomorrow. Which is super exciting, because I haven't seen BK in a long time. And he also brought me some of that fancy ramen from Australia and New Zealand. So, life's good. We'll talk to you soon. Good morning. It's uh, <clears throat> just about 11 a.m. We just hitched to the Soda Springs or Soda Creek Road um, with a guy who works at the brewery in Dunsmere. Uh, super cool guy, uh, so thank you much. Uh, it's myself, Sugar, and Cannon. Lamb Fat and Sniper are ahead of me. Garbage disposal will be coming out later. And Butterfly Kisses is, I think, staying in town tonight. Anyways, double zero was nice. My heels don't hurt anymore. I think they've had a chance to callus up a bit and dry out. We're only going 15 miles. And a lot of that is because it gets the majority of the big hill out of the way. And keeps us from basically overheating ourselves. So it's going to be a hot one today. Um, right next to the interstate at the moment, so you have a lot of road noise. But yeah, um, four days or excuse me, on Friday, we'll be arriving in Etna. We already have plans to stay with a, um, at the R&R &R bunkhouse, which is run by Kate. I have my glasses, my new glasses will be sent there. And uh, yeah, oh, and also, um, I, my parents were given a, um, a gift card to me by one of my dad's cousins. Uh, and so thank you, Doug, um, that was amazing. And uh, I'll definitely be using that for uh, for replacements or for food or something along those lines um, once I get a hold of it. So thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, nothing else really exciting. We had some Burger King for breakfast, which was probably going to be a poor choice. But, you know, back in the woods, I can go potty anywhere. And uh, yeah, onward and upward. Let's make this happen. Talk to you soon. Before I get too far on the trail, um, I did actually get in touch with z -Packs this morning. So the issues with the bag will be resolved fairly soon. 
Uh, I'm probably going to continue to hike with the Mariposa so I have to go through the new pack pains again. But the good news is the pack is being replaced and the hip belt pocket is being replaced as well. So thank you guys for getting back in touch with me. It'll be very nice to have that all resolved. And as a consequence, I will be updating my ZPAX review. Uh, most of the issues still stand, you know, I shouldn't have had to wait that long for customer service, but they did apologize. Um, the issue they were having with their emails, basically they had switched over their email system, and uh, I've had that happen to me before in a previous job, and it's a pain, and I understand. Um, but the resolution is swift, um, it's complete, which is amazing, so thank you. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll have that pack with me when my parents come out to visit for Trail Magic. Which will be fairly, fairly soon, actually. I think we're only like three weeks out from that, four weeks out. So I can even get my, my button gear and get to Cascade Locks. Only one state in between us, right? 200 miles of California left and away we go. Uh, going uphill now. Talk to you soon. So, sitting down for a snack. I'm only like five miles, six miles into the day of the 16 and uh, someone had given me some Jelly Bellies because they weren't going to carry them and the type is Cocktail Classics. So I'm looking at the things on the back. It's like Pomegranate Cosmo, a Peach Bellini, Bellini, Margarita, Pina Colada, Strawberry Daiquiri, and Mojito. And I'm like, people know me so well. Uh, I'm essentially stopping at every water source. I am dripping in sweat. Almost looks like I had tears a little bit ago, but it was just sweat dripping off my glasses. Uh, it's warm. It's definitely warm. It's humid. There's a big cloud in front of us. I'm hoping that we can get underneath it and it doesn't produce rain. And uh, we can actually uh, get up the hill in shade. But we'll see. Uh, talk to you soon. Now let's turn to our weatherman, Ollie, to get the weather. It gon' rain. Well, there you have it, folks. It's finally happened. We finally had rain. Well, successfully made it to my home for the night. It is really exposed. I don't think we're gonna have any storms tonight, so I don't have to worry about rain. There's like no bugs in the view. 10 out of 10 wood hike again. Um, everyone else is coming here as well. The last campsites we crossed, they've been full. There's no one here yet. I see someone in a very bright green shirt way across the valley. He'll be here in a minute. And I don't know where anyone else is. I mean, I can see almost a full mile of trail. Anyway, um, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna set up my tripod, try to do, catch sunset as it lights up Lassen, or not, not Lassen, Mount Shasta. You can see Mount Lassen though, way off in the distance. And I uh, feel really close to, uh, to Mount Shasta. We hiked up past the Castle Craigs today, which is effectively the same type of rock material that made um, the Sierras in Yosemite. And it looks tiny now that I'm above it. Um, but you gotta check out this view, it's so cool. Gonna get out the tripod. Hopefully uh, Mount uh, Shasta gets lit up by the changing colors of the sun, which I think it should, should get underneath this cloud layer in the next, mm, looks like 45 minutes or so. And uh, hopefully I can get a beautiful time lapse. Otherwise, wasted battery. Oh well. I will uh, see you guys in the morning. Oh, and I think we did like, we did more than we planned to, maybe 17 miles um, to get up here. We have no water up here, uh, six miles until there's more water but I just carried three liters up here, so. Oh, and then, sorry, before I go, uh, really cool thing, the last spring was covered in pitcher plants, and uh, we're at like 6,500 feet, and I, and it's desert and hot, and I've never seen pitcher plants in such ferocious numbers. <laughs>
um, like I did around that spring. It was really cool. Very beautiful. I took a couple meat pictures, but and they're big. They're like the size of my fist um, for the bell on the top. This time, talk to you tomorrow. Stop.